Uh, Johnny Nairn, the Brewers hitting coach, with The Rock, Bill Shorter, and also Logan Schaefer chipping in as well. Let's take a look. Well, we have five principles that we apply to our hitters as far as the mechanics of their swing for the dynamics of our offense. We want to make sure they have rhythm and timing. We want to make sure they start or separate on time, get started off the pitcher on time. We want to make sure they can stay square and stay back, see the ball all the way to contact, and then weight shift and transfer through the ball with a good hand path and bat path. The first part of our segment is going to be the short bat. This is progression drill. Logan Schaefer is going to be on one knee. We're going to do the front arm first. Now, the reason I put him on his knee is to take the body out of the swing. I want him to feel his hands come what we call inside the ball, which puts the barrel of the bat in the contact zone longer. I don't want the front side to pull the bat, pull the arm through, because I don't want the hands in the bat to follow the front side and get out of the contact zone. So the first part is going to be on his knee using his front arm only. Lay your bat down for me, Sugar, and do... Uh, do the uh, fold and unfold, fold and unfold. He's coming right across his chest with his hand, fold and unfold. Now we're going to do it with the bat. And I'm going to present the ball to him. When my hand goes back, his hands are going to go back. That's when he should load. Separate. Hand back. I'll give you one. Hand back. Hand back. Hand Pretty back. Good shape. Man, good. that's a lot harder than it looks. And back. Good. Stand up. Now we're going to stand him up. We're going to connect his lower half to his hand. And what I mean by his lower half, his weight shift and pivot. Back foot, back knee, back hip, and his hand is going to be connected simultaneous together to increase his power. He's going to stay square on the front foot so he can stay square and get his hand still in that same back path and hand path. If his foot opens up too far, his hand will just follow around the front of his body. Front hand and pivot. Separate. Hand back. Hand back. He's starting on time. Separate. Good weight shift and transfer. Hands inside the ball. Now we're going to go to his top hand. Top hand only. We're still going to connect the top hand to his pivot. His top hand, his elbow is going to come across his stomach, hand across his chest, staying inside the ball, staying square, good weight shift and transfer. Top hand only. Start. Hand back. Hand back. Start. Good. Okay, now we're going to go two hands. We're going to take the top hand and the bottom hand, put it together, still connecting the back side with his weight shift and transfer. Also, during this segment, um, we've talked about staying square, staying back. So we're going to do what we call a change-up drill as part of this short bat. First of all, we'll just do a regular fastball, if you will, regular speed pitch, loading on time, separate, hands back, Make sure he's on time, separate, stay back. Good. He held his position. All right, now we're going to go change up. Separate, stay back. Separate on time, stay back. One more. Separate, stay back. Fastball. Hands back. Good. That's it. Outstanding. Outstanding. See, that's some pretty good work. Yeah, no, that's not easy with one hand like that. You made it look easy. Yes, so next time, what are we going to talk about next time? Next time we're going to take the progression drill. We're still going to be working on the same principles of the swing, but we're going to go from the short bat and carry it to the tee.